Welcome to our lecture online. Now the last aspect of Cepheid variables we're going to look at is the change in the size of the star, the variable star, or the change in the diameter if you want to call that. And take a look at it. Notice that the point of maximum brightness occurs at the point of the fastest increase of the star size, but not the point when the star is at its largest size. It takes a while before the star gets to its largest size, by then the intensity or the luminosity has reduced by quite a bit. By the time we get to the minimum size, that's when we already are past the minimum point or the lowest point of luminosity. So see, there's not a direct correspondence between size and luminosity. And let's take a look again at the Stefan Boltzmann's law. Here, the luminosity is equal to E, the emissivity, which is just a constant, which is near nearly one for a star. Sigma is the Boltzmann constant. We have the area times temperature to the fourth power. And in a previous video, we noticed that almost all of the increase in luminosity was due to the increase in the temperature. We noticed that the increase in luminosity was about 2.3 times at its highest point versus its lowest point, and at least uh, a doubling of the luminosity was due to the increase in temperature. So the increase of the luminosity was primarily due to the increase in the temperature. But notice if we take the size of the star to equal 1 at its minimum size, then the size of the star at maximum size is 1.15. And at the point where we have the maximum brightness, the star is about 8% larger than it is at its minimum size. So not only is the star hotter at that point, it's also larger than it is compared to its minimum size. If we then go ahead and, let's see here, yes, take a look at the area. The area is equal to 4 pi times r squared. So the surface area of any sphere, like a star, is 4 pi times the radius squared. So if the radius increases by 8% and we square that, that means that the increase in luminosity is equal to 16% due to the increased size and 100% increase due to the increase in the temperature. So both the increased size and the increased temperature both attribute to the increase in luminosity. But the majority is due to the increase in temperature and a smaller amount is due to the increase in size. But also notice that the size continues, the star continues to get larger and larger and larger, well beyond the point of maximum brightness. The star is already diminishing in brightness before it reaches the maximum size. So we're going to show you in the next video why that is. What is the mechanism inside the star, which is really the interesting part, that makes it do all that. But at least now we realize the relationship between the brightest point and the dimmest point, primarily due to the change in temperature, somewhat due to the change in size, and notice it also coincides with the maximum speed of the surface of the star. When we reach the maximum brightness, the star is expanding at its fastest rate. When we reach the minimum brightness, the star is contracting at its maximum speed or maximum pace. And so those are the relationships between what happens physically to the star, the Cepheid variable. Now in the next video, we're going to try and explain what happens inside the star to make all this happen. Why does it vary like that? And why does the brightness vary and the size vary and the temperature vary on the surface? Well, we'll get to that on the next video. So, no questions, I'll let you know next time. <laughs>